the new version of Goodjot 402 was released a couple of weeks ago. I will be checking it out and answering the question in the title, currently is Goodjot trash or now has improved? Follow me on a quick journey of downloading it, coding basic stuff and trying out the web editor of this new version. Leave in the comments what you think about Goodjot. Now let's start. So firstly let's download this new version of the engine. So in order to do this of course you're going to go to the official web page of Goodjot.airengine.org and then here you can click here download latest as you can see 402. So when you click that, uh, you go to download Goodjob 4 for Windows and you select the version you want. Uh, you can use uh, the version with c -sharp support or uh, let's say the normal version without c -sharp support and only GD script. So I'm going to download that version and as you can see, it starts to download. Remember that if you are on other platform that isn't Windows, you can just scroll down a little bit and uh, you will find exactly here where it says see below you're going to click here and uh, you have here all the other platforms android linux mac os web editor etc later on we are going to try out the web editor version but uh, right now i have just downloaded the windows version and we are going to try that one also remember that if you want to download a long-term support version and this version is Guzo 3, you just have to click here, it says download LTS, LTS remember stands for long-term support version and here you can download it as well. So once this file is downloaded, uh, you're going to extract it with any kind of a uh, zip extractor, for example WinRAR. Um, and this file is going to uh, give us uh, the version of Goodjot. Remember that when downloading Goodjot, Goodjot, you have the uh, console, okay, and uh, you also have uh, the, the application of Goodjot. So uh, first of all, I'm going to maximize this, and um, I'm going to create a new project, and I'm going to call it um, version. This was version. 402 and i'm going to create a new folder i will leave the renderer as default and i'm going to uh, click create an edit we are going to see if the loading times are okay wow that was super quick i believe this loading time was even uh faster than the other version of Goodjob that i think was 401 so it's incredible how how Goodjob can optimize everything in order to just uh, open a project in like a second or two, three seconds, I think it was. Something that really bothers me about uh, this version 4 of Goodjob, literally any version of Goodjob 4, that you are always having some type of uh, message, warning or error in the console. Uh, and as you can see, I haven't imported anything, I haven't like created anything and despite that uh, i'm having this warning here so that's quite weird obviously if you want to read uh, the release notes of this version you can uh, see them from the link in the description below but also uh, you can go here to the official website of Goodjob in the latest news section click here where it says more news you're going to scroll down just a little bit and you will find here maintenance release Goodjob 402 and here you will find all the changes and everything you should know about this new version. As you can see, if I scroll here in the changes, you can see there are a lot of changes, uh, but they they aren't like important or huge changes uh, as this is just a maintenance release. So this means that, for example, the loading time of a project uh, has been uh, is now lower than it was probably some bu bug fixes and things related to that but nothing very very massive something that would be cool is good uh, to solve this uh, warning here so uh, let's quickly jump to code something i'm going to code two very basic things just to try out if everything compiles well and works fine in this case i'm going to create a new 2d scene and i'm going to rename it to something like main i'm going to press ctrl s to save it and i'm going to save it now that i have my root node 
uh, I can add uh, any kind of child node. In my case, uh, I'm going to create a sprite 2D and I'm going to quick load as a texture the icon of Goodjode. I would like to change uh, the modulate, which is under visibility. I would like to change the color of, um, of the icon, as you can see, but uh, from a script and as soon as the game uh, starts. So I'm going to attach a node script with a template of objects empty and I'm going to click here it says create, nice. So now um, in my ready function that remember the ready function is called uh, when, we, when we start playing our game, I should grab my modulate uh, and I should change it to something like color dot uh, red for example red like this nice so now I, I click play uh, no may see has ever been defined select one you can change later yes of course I haven't selected a main scene so I'm going to select my current scene that is uh, also named main and as you can see this works perfectly fine and the game window opens and closes very quickly I love making this type of comparisons about uh, loading times because I believe that one of the most important things about Goodjot and one of the most important advantages of Goodjot is the workflow velocity. Because for example in Unity every change you make in a line of code you have to wait like 5 to 10 seconds to just scrap a script to compile. Whereas here in Goodjot I can change here from some color dot red to color dot a blue for example and as you can see I don't have to wait any type of, of time I just click run and it compiles very quickly you can't even read the window here that says something like a uh, compiling scripts I believe it says but as you can see it's very difficult uh, to actually read so that means the loading time is incredible then uh, to only make something more interesting let's say I'm going to add here a, a node and this is going to be a label node and uh, I'm going to center it for example uh, but I, I should make a control node right yeah um, so here I will add a control node I will make it um, to, uh, to fit all my screen I don't know ah, no, because I have my main okay so this is just a mess so I'm going to delete both I'm going to create a new scene of user interface yes now that's right I will put here a label and uh, here I'm going to make it a little bit bigger uh, put here score equals zero for example I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically and I'm going to make it fit the entire screen. Also here in my control node, I will add a button. Okay, I will make it bigger as well. The text will be a plus one. For example, I'm also going to uh, center it and I'm going to uh, move it down just a little bit uh, like this, for example. Uh, I'm going to save this scene, name it control, it's exactly the same thing and I would like to select um, my main scene, I would like to select my control as the main scene so now when I play I can see here uh, my scene that I'm making. I'm going to attach a new script to my root node as always as empty because I don't want uh, useless lines of code messing around um, so what I want to do um, is to actually this other uh, node node found control relative to root and some things weird okay I don't know what that means because here it has some weird path or something like that well just let's just ignore that and uh, here we have the button and we have the signals so when we press our button on button press um, so here I'm going to create a new variable uh, that I will name uh, score 
bar score will be initially equal to zero so when we press the button i want to increase this score uh, by one and then uh once i have added one to my score variable i'm going to grab my um my label so i have to put here the uh, dollar symbol i can't find here uh, label i want to modify the text too i have to convert uh, this uh, int variable because this stores an integer 0 1 2 etc and the text is a string so i have to convert my score int variable to a string in order to be inside the text you know, here was a uh, like this i believe right yeah perfect and also here uh, we should put a um, score and yes i believe we should put something like this because if not our label text would be uh something like this just zero one but but i would like to see score and then our current score so then uh, we should have our scoring system working fine yeah perfect now let's try the web editor of this version in order to enter to the web version i think we should go to the download section here see below and here we uh, click web editor we wait a couple of seconds and here is important uh, to, to remember that uh, the Godot web editor has some limitations compared to the native version native version means to desktop version for example its main focus is education and experimentation it's not recommended for production okay don't show again and uh, we are using here the 402 stable version. We can use an old version by clicking here. So I'm just here to click start uh, Godot editor. Uh, and uh, I think I, do, I should just wait a couple of seconds. Okay, nice. And I'm going to create a new project here. I'm going to name it version 402. I want to create a new folder. Uh, for example here the first limitation is that the only renderer we can select is compatibility so i'm going to cre uh, create and edit uh, the project probably here the web the web version will take a little bit more of time to open a project but as you can see it opens like in 10 i believe uh, even less than 10 seconds like five seven something like that very quickly um so i'm going to create a something very very easy as we had created before but this time it will be faster i'm going to name it main i will save this scene attach a script and uh, also i will need here a uh, some node or something to make so for example a sprite 2d and to this sprite 2d i'm going to quick load the icon of Gujo. i'm going to put it like in the center of the screen then in my script window and in my ready function i'm going to grab my script my sprite sprite to the nice dot modulate modulate will be equal to color dot red for example nice so now i'm going to press play and uh, no main scene has ever been defined i'm going to select the current scene and wow super quick I remember that I tried a, a, the web editor like a month or two months ago and it was very difficult to use because it it take it it took like maybe 30 seconds to compile and to open a project so it was very difficult uh, to, to work of course remember the web editor as it was said as soon as I opened it it's not a focus on production and uh, creating serious things it's just to experiment but something that happens in both a uh, desktop version and web editor version are uh, these kind of uh, warnings that i don't really understand and also here i have some errors even but, well uh, let's say that everything is incredible fine so finally is good job really trash right now 
I would definitely say no because everything is working perfectly fine. As I said before, something that I really really like about Gujot are the loading times, that's incredible, fine, because I believe it's the only engine in which you can open and create a project in less than like 3 or 5 seconds. Anyway, leave me your opinion in the comments, if this video was useful, please subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one, bye bye.